Okay, in this video, we're gonna show you how to use Trello in your network marketing business. If you haven't already watched my orientation to Trello, click on the link in the description of this video and be sure to watch that first, then come back to this. So inside my Trello, I've, I've gone ahead and created a network marketing board. In here, I'm, I've set up leads, hot leads, been to a presentation, onboarded, and team leader lists. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say we got a lead, okay, and our lead our lead is Tina. We have a we have Sam that's a lead. We have Trish that's a lead. We have Billy, Amy, Susan, Peter. All right, so these are our current leads that have come in the last month, basically. Now Tina's a pretty hot lead. She's she's uh, scheduled an appointment with me. Sam's a hot lead. Billy's a hot lead. These other four people I haven't managed to get in touch with yet. So we want to make sure that they stay here so that we don't forget about them. We don't want to forget about anybody unless they just you know fall out and don't want to proceed. So they're in the leads column until they become a hot lead, which means that they are meeting with us, talking with us, etc. You know when they're a hot lead. And basically the goal of most network marketing organizations is to get these people to a presentation where they can learn more. So Sam's talking with me, maybe we're going to meet up for a coffee date or something like that. At the coffee date, I'm going to say, hey Sam, there's a presentation coming up next Friday. I'd love it if you come. Sam says, yeah, sure, I'll come. So when Sam comes to the presentation, now we're going to move him to the bin to a presentation column. So basically, this is our, our lead funnel. Everybody comes in here. This is the first level. They become a hot lead. Not everybody will, but you know this is, this is our goal is to get them from a lead to a hot lead, then to a presentation. And when they go to a presentation, there's only one of two things that are going to happen. They're either going to say, I want to move forward, or I don't want to move forward. If they don't want to move forward, you can delete them, or you can say, <clears throat> maybe we're going to have another column called not interested and we can move Sam to the not interested column if that's where he belongs or say he goes to the presentation and he signs up this dude is on board he's part of my downline now so he's onboarded um, so we leave him here is onboarded Sam starts to get involved he starts to build his, his business you know sell his shakes his shakes his jewelry whatever it is that you know your network marketing business is about Sam's on board he is in your downline now, as Sam progresses, as Sam starts to bring people on board, you can say, okay, he's you know he's done a lot of stuff. <clears throat> We're going to make him a team leader, or he's made himself a team leader by putting you know four people underneath him, or or however your organization works. But we want to keep track of the people that are onboarded versus the people that are team leaders, because you know that these people are more more valuable to you. These are the people that you need to. You know, keep keep in touch with more often, perhaps, or you know, differently, just to make sure that they keep on keeping on because they're bringing you the most dollars. Whether he's you know just on board or he's a team leader, you just want to make sure that you know who's who and that you're keeping track of everybody in the way that they need to be kept track of. So you can see that basically you can have all of the people that are in your organization on this board. What I here's another thing that I would recommend too. Okay, so. Eventually, you're going to have a whole bunch of people here in your onboarded column because you've built up an organization and you've got like four people underneath you, right? These people aren't team leaders yet, but they're onboarded. Um, and here's what I would do. I, if I was you, I would make it, say, a monthly goal that I'm going to touch base with all the people here on the onboarded column every single month. So every month, I may just go down here and say, okay, um, I called Sam on... 412 talked about his sick dog <laughs> he's doing well has three people interested now next time you talk to Sam you can look back at your comment so next time I talk with Sam I look back here and I say oh man when I talked with Sam last month he had three people interested now when I call him up in May I can say hey Sam how'd those three people go that you were telling me about last week or last month did everything go well do you have anybody new and just make a comment there to, to keep yourself up to date at all times with what's going on with Sam um, if you have a lot of people in this list then you may even want to do something like this and say put it put it like a temporary list in here say monthly call and put everybody in here 
from your onboarded column. And once you talk to Sam, you move him back here to the onboard onboarded column. Once you talk to Amy, you move him back to here. So you know exactly who you have left to call that you haven't touched base with on your monthly call. And then eventually you've gone through all of your monthly calls and you can either slide that over somewhere that is not so obvious or delete it out or whatever you want to do. Um, but this is kind of an example of how you might use Trello to keep track of your network marketing business and all of your leads and go, go, go. So you build lots of team leaders and retire wealthy and get that Cadillac. One other thing that I wanted to mention too is, you know, as you're looking through this, as you can see how this is going to impact your business and keep you more organized, consider how it may impact your downlines business to share this video with them get them onboarded with Trello so that they can be more organized as well. Because it's great if you're already organized and you already have this kind of stuff under control, whether you use Trello or not. But the people that you onboard, when you look at Sam and Trish and Billy and Amy, they may not be as, you know, be as organized as you. So if you help provide a little bit of organization to their business by showing them how to use Trello, they may then, you know, make more sales, bring more people on, and they may be more likely to become team leaders as a result of the leadership that you're providing for them. Think about that and um, you know, pass on the information for sure. Be sure to watch my other Trello videos to see how it can help you in other parts of your life as well.